The European Union should invest more than 500 billion euros in the development of the defense industry as Russia may be ready for a confrontation with the EU in six to seven years. This was stated in an interview with Reuters by Andreas Kobilius, former Prime Minister of Lithuania, who will soon take up the post of the first ever EU Commissioner for Defense. Defense ministers and NATO generals agree that Vladimir Putin could be ready for confrontation with NATO and the EU in six to eight years, Kobilius said. According to him, if we take these assessments seriously, then it is the time for us to properly prepare and it is a short one. He emphasized the need to make quick and ambitious decisions. In addition, Kobilius's first job will be to identify, together with EU Foreign Policy Commissioner Kaja Kalas, the resources needed by the EU to prepare for a military challenge. The official plans to complete the preliminary study within the first 100 days of his tenure as European Commissioner. Kubilius added that he would be glad to invest in more than 500 billion euros over the next few years to develop Europe's defence industry. The new plan by the North Atlantic Alliance stipulates that, in the event of a Russian attack, Estonia has the right to strike back at the Russian territory, states the chief of the joint staff of the Estonian Defence Forces, Vahua Karos. Major General Vahur Karos noted that until recently, NATO's defense plan required the Estonian army to hold off Russian forces on its own for around 10 days until help from alliance members arrived. However, according to him, the new NATO plan allows Estonia's military to strike and defeat Russian forces on Russian territory in the event of an attack on Estonia. This is a significant shift. It's a change that the war in Ukraine has brought to many NATO allies. We can no longer wait to be hit like a sledgehammer, but we must be the first to act and have the ability to take certain measures, said Vahua Karus. Recently, the defense ministers of Latvia, Poland and Romania called on their NATO allies to immediately strengthen air defense measures on the alliance's eastern flank. In early September, a Russian drone crashed in eastern Latvia. According to military reports, it was a bomb-laden Shahed drone. Russian drones also violated Romanian airspace. In both cases, the air forces did not attempt to shoot down the enemy targets. Their military stated that they had directives from NATO command not to respond to such incidents. Following these events, Lithuania's Ministry of Defense urged for a change in the airspace patrol protocols over the Baltic states to allow for the downing of Russian missiles. The Ukrainian military advanced in the Kursk region. At the same time, Russian invaders press along the line Kupiansk, Svetovo, Kremenea, within Toritsk, near Pokrovsk, and the advance of the enemy near Guliapolum is recorded. This is reported by ISW. It is reported that on September 18, Ukrainian forces continued their assault on the Glushkov district of the Kursk region. On September 18, Russian sources, including the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, said that the Russian army allegedly repelled the attacks of the Ukrainian army near the Mary, Medvezhai, and Novi Puti. Ukrainian troops recently expanded their bridgehead in the Kursk region. Geolocation footage from September 17 shows that the army advanced to the east of Krasno October. On September 17, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that Ukrainian troops attacked southeastern Koronevo in the region of Obakovka and Lubomovka, as well as northwestern Sudza in the region of Maloy Lokny. Geolocation footage, published on September 17 and 18, show that Russian troops have recently moved eastward along two forested areas southeast of Koronevo and south of Obakovka. On September 18, the Russian soldiers said that the Russian army had advanced to the south of Durovka and along the Koronevo Sheptakovka Safanovka Highway. Also, Russian bloggers claimed on September 16 and 17 that Putin's troops advanced in the area of Algovka and Uspanovka. On September 18, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that the Russian troops were conducting offensive actions to the southeast of Koronevo in the area of Nikolivo Dorino, Dorino, Lubomovka, Tolstoy Lug, and southeast of Sudza in the area of Plekovogo. Geolocation footage, published on September 18, shows that the Russian army recently carried out a mechanized assault on Ukrainian positions in the southeastern part of Koronevo. 
The representative of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Alexey Mitrashkovsky, told AFP on September 18 that Ukrainian troops stopped the counteroffensive of the Russian Federation in the Kursk region and stabilized the situation.